And that's what I'm going to do right now, right? Full parent. Come on, Eclipse, man. Jesus Christ, what a program. Uh, Android Studio is out now. Maybe that's better. So if I use uh, fill, fill parent with all of them, right, and wait one, I copy that uh, four times, then it takes up, they all take up. That's going to go to fill parents. That's going to go to fill parents. Right, and then they all take up an equal chunk. Also, this, this Eclipse could be out of date as well, you know. There's a lot of stuff, but it's generally just buggy. Buggy Magnus, bad madness, and hopefully Android Studio is better. But I might do something on Android Studio later. But uh, at the moment, uh, I'm so familiar with this now, even though it doesn't appear that way. Right. So we have four equal space. Now this can't go wrong. Drop the image view into there, and to the sim. Put the image back in that we had. There it is. Uh, set. The gravity must must be able to do it on children like that. Okay, this is now going to work, right? I've, I've figured it out finally. So what you want to do is put an image view in each of them. Uh, what's that called? Plan, plan. Yeah. And uh, set the gravity on that. One more. And this one is called social. And set the gravity on that too. And now <coughs> we have the thing we're going to use at the bottom. That's just to reserve uh, the space. And you can see it's actually it's not as big as one of those buttons, is it? So we need to give it less weight or more weight. Is it more weight? More weight, isn't it? One point two, right? I'll knock it down. And for now, uh, let's. I'm just going to take this into Photoshop, uh, oh, and I'm just going to try and grab the the purple that we need, really, at the bottom there, right? So how do I get to that purple? Drop this in. Oh, this mouse is awful; it keeps letting go. Drop this into Photoshop. And uh, just copy the value like that that we did in the last one, I think. And then um, we set this as the background color of this linear layer like that. And I'm going to make it into five little sub ones just to demonstrate how to do that. So we just change the orientation to horizontal like that. And then. Um, for now, uh, we'd probably uh, use a separate layout. No, I will use a separate layout, right? I'm going to do that. I'm going to use a separate layout for each five little things, just to give me the control I need later on. So when you do that, right, you just do exactly the trick we just did there, which is uh, fill parent. You set them all. You set them both to fill parent. Everything in a, in a layout to fill parent, and then you use the weight to determine how much of the parent they will actually fill. So um, that's my first chunk of the bottom bit, but because it's fill parent and I've done weight one, it's taken up the lot, right? But if I take one and copy it five times, two, three, four, five, then you'll see that I have five even things and they can be used for the home, map, planner, camera, and website, which we don't yet have the buttons for. So. That was a struggle, I must admit. That was a struggle compared to what it should have been, but I've been away. I'm gonna, now I'm going to name these. I guess I might as well carry on for once. I'm going to name these and, and just make them clickable, and then we're going to stop, okay? So I'm going to change this top one to uh, I'm here. And Eclipse now will do this nonsense and go through this whole refactoring crap that takes hours for no reason. Um, and uh, I'm going to call this one I want to plan 
Uh, you could do this by hand, of course, uh, then you wouldn't have to go through this refactoring thing. I uh, just change the XML by clicking on this thing. Right, up here in my mouse. And now uh, the last one I want to call We Are Social. And these are the only things that need to be pressed, right? So you can actually save this. Um, actually, I'm not going to take this all the way through to clickables because I've got to make a new activity. And that's going to take a few, a minute or two. And well, <coughs> I've got five minutes, haven't I? And what you can actually do here is uh, right-click on this. I think. I keep forgetting now what you do. Now you right-click on that one, right? And if you've got the right plugin, which I do. I've got a plugin somewhere that uh, declares all the variables for me. I think I even used it in my last uh, my last thing, but you know I'm, I've been away, like I say. My brain is struggling. Validate properties. New. Maybe I've lost this script. It was really good though. Just allows you to declare all the variables without uh, any work. Well, uh, I kind of don't know what I'm talking about. It's gone. So uh, this is the same as my last video. Unfortunately, I'm, I'm using my own types of activities here so this is a bit too specific really to my um, to my own need uh, but what I'm going to do is make a new activity um, which extends my own silver activity so I'm just going to take a basic one that covers the, <coughs> the core methods that I'm needing right but I'm just going to take I'm just going to copy and paste this basically uh, copy that paste that and give it a new uh, thing call it landing activity and um, if you're interested what's in silver activity I know some of you are I, I'm gonna release this stuff on github at one point but it, it's not a lot really I have these wrappers oh, well this is all nonsense for the action bar I'll probably take that out at some point I just have wrappers around things and special methods here that help you go to new activities and, um, like my on resume, you know, I just, it's mostly I call on resume there and I print things out like that. Uh, and then I call on resume X, which is what is being called in here. I don't know how smart it is, but it saves me a hell of a lot of hassle copying and pasting and doing them and lots of duplicate code. I've just copied this, haven't I? Yes, I did, landing activity. Okay, so now you find the name of it, landing page. You can just go like that and click a dot there and, uh, and click L and it should actually remember it, yeah. Now you actually need, uh, a, if you have a state machine like I do, you need to define a state here. And uh, it should have been, uh, because I'm adding all the time to this, I'm going to put something like 0.5.1 new states. And I'm just going to copy one of these and if you want to look up state machines it's actually a really good um, way to keep a track of your app so I'll call this activity uh, landing page and I'd call that uh, 48 so it's a unique state and then uh, just copy and paste that and then um, I'm running out of time here and I don't see the point in doing another one of these but Essentially, I've made an activity here. I launch the activity that points to the XML page that I've just made. I then grab the items just like this here. So they, I'd grab these three image views and I'd, and I'd uh, get them by name and then I'd add uh, an action listener. And then when you click them, it would say, hey, I've been clicked. Um, if you really do want to see this sort of stuff, um, I, I'm happy to do it. I'm just wondering how much uh, people are going to be watching this by now because I've got three sections and stuff. But Anyway, thank you for watching this. I won't release it for a while until this app is well and truly out the door, so there should be no problems. Thank you very much.